welcome to part 3 of the lecture in this part of the lecture i will be talking about the critical approaches in political ecology offered by the anthropologist arutro escobar uh, and we will also look at the criticism of political ecological perspective the limitations or the shortcomings of such a perspective in an article written by escobar constructing nature elements for a post structuralist political ecology in 1996 escobar emphasizes for a post structuralist analysis of political ecology or to understand the relationship between nature and society so in that escobar offers the study should not just look at nature but also the discourse practice and the processes through which nature is produced in other words what escobar is suggesting is that we need a post structuralist approach in looking at nature and the relationship with society that means it is just not nature alone that needs to be uh, studied but also the discourse the ideas which is created around nature which needs to be considered in other words how is nature perceived by different players or actors in the context of nature whether it is governments whether it is biologists whether it is ecologists whether it is uh, uh, corporate bodies whether it is industries how or its communities how are they looking at the relationship between nature or how is nature constructed or how is nature perceived by different actors that is the focus of escobar which needs to be studied and i quote the post structuralist analysis of discourse is not only a linguistic theory it is a social theory a theory of the production of social reality which includes the analysis of representations as social facts inseparable from what is commonly thought of as material reality post structuralism focuses on the role of language in the construction of social reality it treats language not as the reflection of reality but as constitutive of it so in other words what escobar is emphasizing is that a post structuralist approach to looking at the nature and society relationships from the perspective of political ecology is very very important in other words what is central to the post structuralist idea of nature and society is that nature is a constructed idea and nature has been created by the processes of history economics and social organization nature inherently does not have any essential identities because nature is holding plural meanings by the people who view or understand nature or what importance nature has for different actors in the context of society because nature holds different meanings and these meanings are not permanently fixed therefore we need to understand uh, how nature or the idea of nature is constructed and that itself becomes an understanding of social reality and to understand political ecology and from a post structuralist perspective escobar in an article in 1999 after nature steps to an anti essentialist political ecology offers three nature regimes in the context of society one is organic nature which is most commonly found in non industrial societies through an anti and this which exists in non industrial societies is seen from an anti dualist lens of nature culture and local knowledge in other words nature and society are not separable in the context of organic nature in capitalist nature nature is seen as a commodity it is commodified and put to assist in the process of governance of capitalism in other words nature is a commodity for 
enlarging the process of capitalism production and distribution of capital third is techno nature where is an artificially created nature regime through the process of engineering and biotechnology so what we find is escobar offers three different nature regimes or how nature is in the context in these three different perspectives and these three exist in the context of society these three regimes coexist and overlap creating modern life so what emerges is basically a hybrid of nature and culture now from escobar's perspective that it is very important to engage with this hybrid construction of nature and society or nature and culture and this is the understanding of this hybrid entity of nature and culture is important dominant discourses which have constructed nature and society relationships so to counter the dominant discourses the only way out is to engage with the hybrids of nature and culture and i quote from escobar he says these narratives are likely to be hybrids of sorts they will arise out of the mediations that local cultures are able to effect on the discourses and practices of nature capital and modernity this is a collective task that perhaps only social movements are in a position to advance the task entails the construction of collective identities as well as struggles over the redefinition of the boundaries between nature and culture these boundaries will be reimagined to the extent that the practice of social movements succeed in reconnecting life and thought by fostering plural political ecology of knowledge as the analysis of concrete practices of thinking and doing discursive approaches have much to contribute to this imagining so materialist approaches do not need to exclude this type of analysis to simplify what escobar is trying to say is that we need to understand how social movements have the power or the ability to offer alternative narratives and discourses in the whole unequal processes of capitalism and globalization and only social movements can offer an alternative narrative in trying to understand the relationship between nature and the environment so what we see is what escobar offers is the three different kind of nature regimes which coexist and that is what create modern life and by that he is very critical of offering an alternative view of political ecology having said this political ecology is not free of criticisms uh, many challenges and limitations of political ecology because it overly focuses on political concerns often pens of ecology andrew and vida and bradley walters contend that if the field of study termed political ecology emerged due to a lack of inclusion of politics in the study of ecology today political ecology is accused of studying politics without the enough understanding of ecology hence the claim of the perspective of political ecology seems to be a contradiction because uh, on one hand uh, because earlier studies lacked politics emphasis was given on politics now newer studies are giving more emphasis on politics on less on the ecological processes and hence forth that is a very important uh, criticism against political ecology and at best people say that political ecology then becomes a branch of political science or simply an empirical approach in explaining environmental problems in other words another criticism of political ecology is that it gives too much of importance to the pursuit of power as explaining humans uh, human behavior with regards to environmental issues a more inclusive way of talking about political ecology is that equal emphasis should be given on global justice as the foundation for a sustainable 
future. In other words, the idea of justice should enter uh, the context of uh, talking about the environment and societies when we are talking about political ecology unless we uh, we do not bring in the idea of uh, global justice in the context of environment and societal relationships uh, the idea of a sustainable future seems to be uh, far away in conclusion what i can say is that uh, in the global struggle for dominance over resources and the political processes in the context of dominance of these resources a comprehensive framework of politics and the environment is important to understand the global processes and their outcomes henceforth since the 1970s despite the limitations which uh, critics have posed on the idea of cultural uh, political ecology uh, political ecology has emerged as an important framework and a perspective of understanding global dominance and exploitation of resources and in understanding the nature of relationship between environment and society and political ecology still remains to be a predominant framework in understanding the complex relationship between nature and society thank you